Here in the UK, Halloween has been and gone. All Saints Day has been and gone. And Guy Fawkes Night has been and gone. And it's now time to prepare for Christmas. The shops already have Christmas food, gifts, decorations and themes displayed. Some of these displays are quite magical and do capture the spirit, but there's something missing. Amidst the baubles and decor, you can find reindeers, robins, Christmas villages, gingerbread men and gingerbread houses, polar bears, candy canes, and many other winter animals and themes, but it all feels a little empty. The meaning of Christmas isn't there anymore. Of course, businesses want to make money at Christmas and show a profit, but they've completely lost touch with the meaning. Gonks and Grinches are the theme in all the shops. They all have the same things. There's no individuality, there's nothing different, and there's no meaning. Grinches? Really? A Grinch is a little mean-spirited and miserly and doesn't really capture the essence or the tradition of Christmas at all. We already have a miserly Christmas character in Scrooge, thanks to A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Do we really need another one? Tis the season to be jolly. So why are shops promoting and pushing the public to buy unfriendly, miserly characters? If shops are struggling to have a theme for Christmas, then please allow me to help you. The clue is in the name. Christmas. It's the birth of Jesus Christ, C-H-R-I-S-T, which is where the word Christmas comes from. That is what's missing. That is the meaning of Christmas and should be the main theme. The nativity scene is the most precious and beautiful thing you can display at Christmas and is in fact the meaning itself. The stable with a star above it, with Joseph, Mary and the baby Jesus in the crib with sheep, donkeys, angels and the three wise men. That is the nativity scene. It's a scene of family and togetherness, including animals, and it's a scene of love. It's very noticeable in all the high street and brand shops that there's no nativity snow globes, no nativity ornaments, no nativity scenes or decorations. There's also a lack of angels, just the wings can be found as decorations. It begs the question why? Perhaps it's because these brands feel they don't want to offend anybody, but by trying to not offend people, they've actually offended many. Christmas is celebrated by over one billion people around the world and is a holiday in most countries. That's a lot of people to offend. I've never met a Muslim, a Jewish person, or anyone from any other religion that's offended by Christmas. It's the time of year when we give thanks and show love, generosity and compassion more than at any other time of year. So there's nothing to offend anyone. It seems to be all in the heads of these brands and companies, pardon the pun. It's the same for many large charity shops too. I won't mention any names, but they ask for money, donations and volunteers all year round from the public and then sell Christmas cards where only 10p is actually given to their causes, whilst the rest pays for six-figure salaries to their board of directors. They don't even participate in putting up decorations because it might offend people. Imagine having a shop or brand in a Christian country and refusing to participate in Christmas. I'm reminded of the book by Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Perhaps these shops and companies could find it in their hearts to be a little more traditional and less bar humbug. After all, if you show some love, you'll receive some love. The more you give, the more you receive. Thank you for listening and however, whatever and wherever you celebrate, make it peaceful and happy.